The 2013-2014 school year has ushered in many changes and new opportunities for the students of Edison. One of the more high-profile and celebrated additions is the Edison High School STEM Academy. In this, its inaugural year, the Science and Engineering Academy promises to offer a select group of freshmen a demanding four-year program that will allow these highly motivated students an opportunity to explore their interests in the fields of mathematics, science, and engineering. The freshmen enrolled have accepted the challenge and are being exposed to the most rigorous curriculum possible, including a minimum of 11 advanced placement courses. Academy students will have the opportunity to interact with professionals in the fields of science and engineering while exploring future career paths. They will gain hands-on experience with the most current methods of research and technology. This also includes a soon-to-be-completed 16,000-square-foot addition to the EHS campus that will house state-of-the-art science labs and facilities, simulated college lectures, and hands-on learning with industry-standard equipment. These four students are representatives of the first STEM Academy class, and we recently sat down with them to discuss their feelings about the demanding workload, required adjustments, and exciting opportunities offered to designated students. I see myself going to a top tier university for, well, I, right now, engineering. I plan to get into like a good college, um, mainly for engineering. I see myself like getting into a good college like these guys, but like I feel like this academy is going to help me get into like a better college because they're going to see that I did all these courses and they're going to be like, oh, it's, it's probably going to be like better for, better for their college to like take me in. The purpose of the academy is to introduce students who have a desire to pursue the field of engineering, um, introduce them to different fields of engineering, and help prepare them for, for that exposure in college and that degree in college. Um, it's going to be tough, but because, uh, especially with all the competition, um, there are people around the country who have done uh, just as much as us and are trying just as hard to get into these not even IV, but any college, any good engineering program. Because of this program, I think I can uh, have a small advantage above those students who work just as hard. A lot of students say, I want to be an engineer, but they don't know what type of engineering field they want to pursue. Is it green? Is it electrical? Is it mechanical, civil, um, you know, biomedical? So uh, the, the big piece for this class uh, as their freshman year is introducing them to all those different fields of study and teaching them the engineering design loop and preparing them uh, you know, to go in depth into uh, a specific uh, career or major in engineering. So I'm thinking of either electrical or biomedical engineering. I actually want to be a lawyer, but like I thought I would like major in um, computer engineering and then I could like do law school. That way it would open up like more opportunities when I actually get a job. Uh, I still have no idea, but I've got four years ahead of me before I finally have to decide. Most colleges for engineering are for oh, engineering, yeah. MIT, Caltech. Yeah. yeah, if you go there and you realize I don't like engineering, you're gonna just lose $50,000 for nothing, and then you have to That's find a new school. So this is a big advantage, just deciding. Well, they all, you know, I kind of equated to I want to be a doctor. Well, what type of doctor do you want to be? You know, do you want to be a foot doctor? Do you want to be a pediatrician? Um, do you want to be a heart surgeon? Well, that's great. They're all doctors. Well, same thing with engineering. There's, you know, emerging fields of engineering. There's traditional fields of engineering. You know, we try and expose them to all of them so that they can make an educated choice and see which one sparks their interest as they, as they move on to college. I've never really, like, had a challenge before. In school, I would always yeah. just coast by and not really study. So this year I had to actually start doing that, which is good, I suppose, because I didn't want to like start that in college and then just not know what to do. I mean, with the workload, they're going to have the courses they have taken, uh, you know, 
we, we talk about study habits and learning how to study. I mean, these courses are really gonna, you know, uh, teach them how to study for really advanced courses. Um, not only are they gonna be starting college with, uh, you know, with a great background in, in many different science classes and math classes, um, and not to mention, uh, the ability that they're going to have to get into much better colleges where if they weren't part of this program uh, it might be difficult to get into some of these tougher colleges. I was sort of expecting this because they said AP Biology was going to be a challenge and stuff and taking honors bio like I already saw how hard it is like it's harder than middle school like whatever we did in middle school like we didn't even focus on a subject in middle school we just did everything in one year together. Yeah. So when we did honors bio it was hard so I was making even like harder for AP bio so it obviously is harder because we have to study a lot more per night, but like I, I wasn't expecting it to be easier. Like it's sort of what I expected. It's a big adjustment just coming to high school. You know, you're 14 years old, just moving to the big building. You know, with over 2,000 kids and, and finding your way. Um, that's that's a difficult task to begin with, let alone taking AP courses and you know being challenged academically. I think the kids are learning quickly at managing their time, their study habits, their study skills. Um, is real important for them having success. And that's the same is true when you leave here and you go to college. So the quicker we prepare them and get them those study habits and time management skills, and you have to be open to getting out of your comfort zone. You know, it's a lot different than middle school. Uh, some of the courses and content and projects that they're involved with as freshmen are college level, you know, it's college level work. Well, my parents started looking at my grades and then they were kind of like questioning if, um, if I, if I like was able to do this, but like um, then they started like realizing that like if I study a little harder, then I can get like better grades, and you know I can stay in this academy. Now like you're working hard, and once your grades like do start to improve after the initial fall, it's um, it's kind of gratifying because you're just like yay. Like you feel like you actually earned the grades instead yeah. of just doing nothing and just like, you know, like like writing answers down on paper. You know, they're not just trying to study the answers and figure out how to do things. They're, they're really asking, you know, why does this work? Why do we do this? How does this work? Uh, and you don't get a lot of those questions in some of your other classes in, in previous years. It's not an easy task and, uh, you know, we have to find the right students who uh, are going to be committed to it and aren't scared to get out of their comfort zone and, and be challenged. Uh, I know that's why we're starting the process now of identifying those 20 to 25 students uh, who are entering high school who, uh, who can be up to that task. The new wing, it kind of fills you with pride as you go in because like this was built for you. Exactly. I mean, if you weren't here, it wouldn't be here. So, I mean, you, really, you feel like here, special. But... <laughs> you feel like this building is yours. Like. I think the new labs uh, are fabulous. I think it's a great opportunity for the kids. Um, these labs are up to date and you know, will be similar to the labs that they would move on to if, uh, you know, when they go to college. So I think there's a comfort level, there's state of the art. I think it's, I think it's a big positive and uh, I've, I've gotten positive feedback from the students that seem to be excited to move into the new labs. During labs we'll have more fun because there's more like um, materials here and like in, in, for example, like in Miss Prescota's room, we don't have like um, all the... Vent hoods. And yeah, vent hoods. And, but now we do, and like we could have like better labs. And I guess it'll be more fun because we'll, we'll experience the bio more. And it's air conditioned. <laughs> <laughs> This first year, um, I'm pleased with how we've gotten off to a good start. Um, you know, I think the, I think the students are are engaged and again being challenged. Um, but each year we're going to you know streamline the process, make it a little bit smoother. Our first time going through the new curriculum, first time going through new projects, the labs just being finished. So it has been a, a, an exciting first month. But uh, each year we expect to improve the process. So the reason why I chose this academy uh, and the one at Middlesex is because this one you can actually get the high school experience. You do have all those um, common high school experiences, but you also have that interesting uh, STEM Academy. A big aspect of it is the having them, you know, work together in class to class. So it really is one big study group for them and that's really helping them to get through. Like I said, I had no idea like 
how to study and if that had like if I had started having to study in college I wouldn't have had any help in that I would have just been totally lost but with this academy I get to prepare for like a little bit closer to college without actually but having the support system of high school. We only have three classes where we have all of us together but some of the other classes we have many of our other friends and we can like hang out with them too so I guess freshman year is like we are like experiencing the high school. Like. I, how can you not be proud of it? I mean I've already devoted two summers to this. I can't not be proud of it. This is these, the people around me in the STEM Academy are now my family because just all this time we spent together and the four years ahead of us we are going to spend together. Uh, you know, we have our web portfolios up and running right now and, I, and we're working, starting to get into, uh, into the hands-on uh, lab component of, of the course. So uh, we'll know more as, uh, as the course progresses, but uh, so far, you know, they've met, uh, they've met all my requirements and I've been pleased with their efforts.